Hey folks, welcome back to Penalty Box Wood Shop, and this week I'm going to show you how to make this easy but professional looking cabinet door. Now I'll walk you through every step, including how to set up your rail and style bits for repeatable and accurate cuts every time. So stay tuned. Let's get started by cutting the wood of your choice to size for the door frame. The length of the rails and styles will be determined by your particular project, but I like to keep the frames of most of my doors at two and a half inches wide. Those of you who are new to woodworking or cabinetry, the vertical frame pieces are referred to as styles, and the horizontal pieces are referred to as rails. Go ahead and identify and mark all the front faces for your pieces. This will help in the later steps as all the cuts on the router table will be done with the front faces down. Lay one rail face down and on one of the edges mark a line at 1 8 of an inch from the top. This will be used in a later step. The stick cutter bit can be identified as the bit with the bearing on the top. This bit is responsible for cutting the groove and decorative profile on the rails and styles. You can identify the coping bit as the bit with the bearing located in the middle of the bit in between the two cutters. It's responsible for cutting the tongue on the end of the rails. I use this cope and stick router bit set from Tools Today on most of my cabinet door projects. I'll put a direct link for it down in the description section below if you want to check it out. Insert the coping bit first and secure it in your router. Adjust the bit so that the bottom of the top cutter is aligned with the 1 8 inch mark on your rail piece that we marked earlier. Adjust the fence using a straight edge so that the fence and the bearing are even. Using a miter gauge and a backer piece, make the coping cuts on both of the ends of your rail pieces. Make sure that each cut is made with the front face of your frame facing downward on the router table. Once the coping cuts are completed, you can install the stick cutting bit. To adjust the height of this bit, align the top cutter with the tongue on the coped end of the rails. Now use the straight edge and align the fence once again. Using push sticks, you can now make the cuts on all the inside edges of the rails and the styles. Once the cuts are complete, you can check your pieces with a dry fit of the rails and the styles. With the frame assembled, you can get an accurate measurement for your center panel. Make sure to adjust your measurement for the grooves in the frame.
With the center panel cut, you can now assemble the cabinet door using glue and clamps. Be sure to only apply glue in the coped ends of the rails, leaving the center panel floating in the grooves for future wood movement. All right, folks, that does it for us this week. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. For a list of all the tools that I used during this video, I'll put them in the description section below. Here's a video here if you want to check that out. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, all you have to do is click that right there. We'll see you next time.